Hello everyone. Well, I just found out that my camera didn't record, record any of the beginning of this quote quote video where I actually mixed my soap. So you're just going to get the end. I am sorry. So I'm going to put uh, my green. I've got the green team on this side. And the yellow team on this side. And then for later on, I've got a little bit of a red orangey accent. This is going to be my Tutti Frutti soap. It's uh, scented with uh, lime, lemon, pink grapefruit, sweet orange, and a bit of litzia. So, and I'm going to attempt to pour at the same time without making a mess. Holy moly, <laughs> this is working, yay! Holy. Okay, I'm going to pour this on the yellow side. I don't really have a plan, so we'll see how that goes. So, all the yellow is in here. And on the side. <laughs> Then we're going to go and finish the green on this side. Apologies for probably having the bowl right smack in the middle of the camera. But, um,. We'll do a little bit of a swirl inside, I think, and we'll play. Not exactly sure yet what the exact end product is going to be, but we will see. Put that in there. Put that in there. Tamp it down. Okay. <laughs> we'll just clean up the mess a little bit. Then we're going to add our red or orange. I'm just going to loosen it up a little bit. Set up a tad. I'm just stirring this to make it nice and loose. I have loose soap. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Now, let's tamp this down a little bit. First, clean up the mess. Tamp down. Okay, 
I was going to use a chopstick and swirl this, but I think I'm going to do a hanger swirl instead. Hmm. Yeah, hanger swirl is going to be. So here we go. Okay. Okay. we can add on the top and we're going to do a nice little swirl on the top for the little design And I think, hmm, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Actually, let's just bring this down like that. Ah, just tap it down a little bit if I see a bubble or two. Yeah. So, it will be bed tonight, cutting tomorrow. Hello, hello. We are here for cutting our Tutti Frutti soap. So I've already cut the end off just to, to uh, even it out. So you can sort of see the design in it, which I can't believe it actually worked. So let's cut another piece and um, see what that gives us. I'm using my cake cutter again because it's very, very soft. Come on. Click, click. There we go. It's a little bit interesting. Okay. Excuse my hands, actually, that are in the way, but there's the one size. Wow! That's an interesting uh, design. One of these days, I'm going to invest in a tank, one of those big um, fancy cutters. But in the meantime, we'll just do them one at a time. It just takes a little bit to get to the bottom. Come on. I don't know if you hear it go click. Oh, come on. Okay, so 
And here's the other side. And there's a, there's a top here, my little design. Well, I'm quite pleased with this. Um, oh, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try cutting it from the bottom up. See if that works. I might wreck a piece, but we'll see. Okay, so line it up. And then we're going to pull. Wing! Whoa! Well, that, that. <laughs> Not quite, quite straight, but, um, oh, look at that! That's neat. Well, that worked better than dragging it down. Well, I kind of like that. But it's turned out my piece isn't really straight. So, put it this way again. There we go. Whack. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Come on. There we go. There we go. And there we are. So it's kind of a different design with every slice. So I'm going to finish cutting this and um, I'll take my group picture at the end. So thank you for watching. Bye.